It wasn't the Chuck Day moment that everybody was waiting for. Unfortunately, it was very heartbreaking for Team India today. Agreed, Sandeep? No, uh, I wouldn't agree in terms of a heartbreak for sure because, you know, when you when you play Australia, you 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 tend to think that you know how many goals can you keep away. India is coming back after 36 years. Let's let's look at or let's take a reality check in that sense. We haven't played at this level for a long time. Australia has been playing forever. You know, just the last World Cup, you know, they were in the final against Holland. So when you play a team like this, you're bound to kind of, you know, get these kind of goals. Yeah, you can say that instead of six, you probably could have had four, or you could have had three, you could even have had two. Out of the six, I think two were extremely soft goals that came in and they came in like consecutive, like within the period of one minute. I think that destroyed the defence out there for a bit. It's very difficult to come back after you let in two goals and then suddenly you see the scoreline, it's 4-0. But this team needs to learn from here. And when I say learn, I'm not talking about skills, I'm not talking about anything which requires fitness. I'm talking very simply from the point of view that you're going to give the men's team so much exposure. They play Germany, Holland, you know, the top teams. They keep regularly playing. That's the reason why they're here. This team needs that kind of exposure. You can't just keep playing Asian Games and Asia Cups and all of these and think that, you know, when you come to the Olympics, you're going to be a massive force. No. Even Australia has changed at least five players from the last World Cup. And they are also suffering because they've already lost two games before they came into this. I thought maybe those two defeats of Australia would have kind of spurred India on, you know, let's go hold them. But, yeah, I mean, like, you've got to look at, you've got to be real when, when you talk about Indian women. And I'm not talking from a negative point of view. I'm talking from a very positive sense that this team has the skill. You know, when Vandana has the ball, she looks world class. Let me put it very straight. But off the ball, you know, she doesn't do much. So they really need to keep that level up by playing bigger teams. You spoke about bigger teams. Uh, if you look at the rankings, uh, there were 10 rankings difference between the two teams. Do you think that it was a, a match between David and Goliath? Yeah, it, you can say it's a mismatch. But, mm. but when you come to the Olympics, all matches and mismatches, they go out of the window, you know. Then, then, you, are, then you want to be on level terms. Then you want to give your best. You, when you walk off the pitch, even if you have lost 2-0 or 4-0, you need to be putting in a plan. I think in the first quarter, the plan probably didn't come in. In the second, probably they were having a little bit of possession, so they played. Second quarter was the best quarter that India played today. Yeah, because they didn't let in some goals yeah. inside, but, but they played possession. Good, yeah. yeah, Savita was excellent today. She mm. probably kept away six, six shots six. away. Mm. One penalty corner was, was brilliant save. But the third and the fourth, again, you know, somewhere I think a few players in the team, and I, and I, and I really want to name Rani here. Mm. I think Rani is not pulling her weight. This is the third consecutive match for a woman of her skills. I think she needs to hold the ball. She needs to go into the striking circle. I don't know what is she doing. I mean, you, you, you are such a senior player. You have had such massive experience. You, you, you won player of the tournament so many times. I think you are the one who needs to be leading. And she's missing. And today it was really nice to see Vandana coming in, picking up the ball, moving around. And she was moving skillfully. She was, she was a delight to watch today. But the score line kind of, you know, just takes it away. But yeah, it was good to watch them score because even if you're losing a game by a high margin and if you score the last goal, you know, 1-6, you kind of still walk off with your heads held high, you know, and I think they did it. You spoke about Rani and Vandana. What exactly went wrong today? I mean... Uh, I think there was a plan. I mean, whenever you... you when you have there a, any plan? <clears throat> yeah, there was a plan. I mean, when you have Neil, a coach like him, who's an Olympian himself, there will always be a plan. Mm. But the plan needs to be implemented, you know. And the same thing can be held for the men's team also. Mm. Because Altman's can lay out a plan, you know, but the team needs to go and implement it. I think the plan was not being implemented. Number one, Australia was playing aggressive, mm. okay? They were coming up, they were closing the gap. And I they think didn't give any opportunity to Indian team. They were not giving an opportunity in the midfield to India because we were not building up. And that's when I, when I say Rani wasn't pulling her weight, I was meaning that if you're not getting the balls up front, you come back into the midfield and start creating. Mm -hmm. I think that's where Rani was not pulling her weight. I think that's where the plans went wrong. I don't know why she wasn't pulled off too, reg too regularly. And I think those two cards that Preeti got, and in the last 10 minutes, she had a 5-minute off. I think those are the ones that we were suffering from. Do you think uh, coach being an Australian, that didn't help at all? 
No, it doesn't help like that. I mean, even, even if you're an Australian coach and you're up against a, such a solid Aussie side, I mean, what can the coach do to, beyond an extent, what can he do? I mean, he can put in the plan, but you still got to implement, as you were saying. And I think the implementation went a little bit wrong. Scoreline 6-1, Australia next faces uh, Netherlands, if I'm not wrong. Do you yeah, think it will help them? <clears throat> but I think our, our next game is, is a big one. I yeah, think. India versus US. Yeah, the US is playing is wonderful hockey. They've already beaten Australia. They've already beaten Argentina. I mean, you, if you're going to beat Argentina, then I, think, then I think our side really needs to have a bigger plan for that match. I think that's going to be an exciting match, but let's see what the Indians do against the US. Sandeep, my last question to you. Indian men's hockey team, they've made a tremendous comeback. Do you think women can also do that? No, I don't think so. I don't think they can make a comeback in the tournament. Mm -hmm. If they reach a quarter-final place, well, we all hope they reach a quarter-final place because it's good for morale. But uh, beyond that, no, nothing. I don't see anything. I don't think them. I don't see them progressing to a semi-final. That's like fantasy.